Greetings, dear ones. I want to talk with you today about spiritual friendship and about one spiritual friendship in particular. The friendship between James Freeman Clark, an early transcendentalist leader, and Margaret Fuller, one of the absolutely pivotal leaders in the early days of feminism in America. They met when they were 19. They were distant cousins. Clark was on his way into the Unitarian ministry. It was 1833, and uh, Margaret had already completed the uh, entire uh, curriculum at Harvard at the age of 16, and was recognized in the community as a brilliant, brilliant young woman. Of course, that was a problem, to be a brilliant young woman in 1833 in Boston, because the pathways were so often um, blocked, the pathways into, the, into professional life, the pathways into the public realm. She would end up being someone who would break a number of barriers. She became a journalist, she became a, 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 the leading conversationalist of her day. And she and James developed a correspondence when he left the Divinity School and went out to the wilds of Louisville, Kentucky to serve his first congregation. He was profoundly lonely and he was serving in a setting which lacked life. And he would write home to his dear friend Elizabeth and she would give him direct feedback. Now she was not a church person and he was a passionately devoted parish minister. So the differences between them also played uh, into their relationship and into the depth of their friendship. I'm talking about this today in part because James Freeman Clark is um, a model uh, for Jan and for me as we consider shared ministry and prepare to deliver the annual Berry Street essay this coming June. Uh, Clark was among those who gathered in that original transcendentalist circle, as was Margaret Fuller. And they were actually engaged in considering how best to reform the Unitarian Church, which by then had been around for oh, almost 20 years and was in need of serious, serious reformation. Out of that friendship, out of the depth and clarity of their relationship, out of coming back over and over again to the kind of intimacy which leads toward accountability, we saw the church reformed in time. We saw the rise of a very brilliant woman in the public realm as she became a journalist and a uh, critic and uh, actually helped to shape the American mind for the first half of the 20th century. Friendship is not extraneous, friends. Friendship is itself a spiritual practice. So when we say, first develop your own practice, and then work toward the kinds of intimacy that will allow you to go deep quickly with strangers, that second set refers to a particular kind of friendship which we can call spiritual friendship, whereby people encourage one another toward greater depth, greater clarity, greater effectiveness and love in the world. Those are the kinds of relationships we seek to foster here at Unity Church and which so many of you exemplify with such grace. It gives me joy. Take care.